Hello there, everybody. It's me, Gary Kidney, the co-host of You've Got to Be Kidding Me on the Voices of Wrestling Podcasting Network. And I am Liam Jones, my full name, and I am also a part of the Voices of Wrestling Podcasting Network as a co-host for You've Got to Be Kidding Me. We are a TNA history podcast that covers TNA one month at a time. We cover all the drama, all the matches, all the Vince Russo nonsense you could ever want in your life. Have you you heard of TNA? I bet you have. But would it be funnier if two people made jokes over it the whole time? Probably. So if that sounds like fun to you, check it out on this very Voices of Wrestling podcasting network, and Liam will do bits and whatnot. This podcast is a member of the Voices of Wrestling podcasting network. Visit VoicesOfWrestling.com to hear the rest of our great podcasts, as well as show reviews, columns, opinions, and updates across the world of wrestling. Welcome to Jumping Bomb Audio. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Jumping Bomb Audio, the number one show all about the world of Joshi Pro Wrestling. My name is Taylor, and I am joined, as always, by my very good friend and co-host, Kelly. Kelly, there's only one question for you this week. Oh. Are, Are you a gold digger? You know, I might be a gold digger. Of course, referencing the biggest news of the week and the reason why this episode was delayed because we were not going to allow old Rossi Ogawa to once again host a, um, maybe not even host, but release big news on a Monday in Japan. Can't get us this time, hat man. That would cause us to miss it and then not cover that news for two weeks. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> they, he tried to get us again. He got us when he got fired. And we said, not this time. Not, not this uh-uh. time. So, of course, recently announced that Rossi Ogawa, the much rumored promotion that he is starting now that he is no longer with Stardom, uh, we got a whole bunch of information. The biggest information that the name of the promotion is marigold so we are going to be talking all about that this episode of course we're going to be talking about a lot of the uh, shows that happened in the last two weeks including a lot of women's action at wrestlemania weekend we are going to be reviewing a whole bunch of big shows coming up and much more but before we dive into that we got to get those plugs in follow us on Twitter at JBOM Audio. You can follow Kelly at Comic Geek Kelly. You can follow me at Tay Mambo. Subscribe to us on your podcast app of choice. And if that app of choice happens to be Apple Podcasts, we would really appreciate a five star rating and review. And if you're feeling extra generous, you can donate to the show at redcircle.com slash shows slash jumping dash bomb dash audio so let's get right into it kelly what were your initial thoughts about the announcement of marigold well i think we have to just jump right into it with saying i did not expect uh stardom to not be the biggest i don't want to say loser but have the most taken from them (laughs) in this whole thing uh actress girls got rated real bad <laughs> well you might say that stardom was the biggest wrestling promotion to get rated well, and yeah. actress girls was the biggest uh definitely not a wrestling promotion act, <laughs> act, get act wrestling uh as very famously actress girls says that they are not pro wrestling even though i mean they are uh <laughs> they but make yes movies yeah sort of shocking uh started a big debate about what poaching is in wrestling 
um, and the idea of it, but six um, participants, I guess I'll call them, from Actress Girls moving over to Marigold. I guess we'll go through the whole roster. Uh, first, we'll go through the non-Actress Girls people first. Um, that would be uh, a lot of people we knew or most of the people we knew from stardom, which is Julia, Utami, Mirai, uh, Nanai Takahashi, who we didn't know about, but maybe not all that surprising considering she was involved uh, in stardom. Mai Sakurai, who we didn't know about. Uh, Yuzuki, who's now going by Victoria. Yuzuki, uh, the Victoria for uh, a play on victory and sort of victorious. Uh, so Victoria, Yuzuki, and uh, not, not Tom Nakano, uh, now Ishikawa. Also, Tom we have coming, at home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also coming over, uh, there are still rumors going around that Julia is going to be in NXT by the summer. Um, I think the most recent thing I saw was July. Uh she was going to be at some pay-per-view or PLE or whatever they call it. Don't know how true that is, but assuming at this point that Julia may not be in this for the long haul, uh, at least on a permanent basis, um, they did announce for their first show, which is May 20th at Cork and Hall, called Marigold Fields Forever, uh, that it will be a tag match. Uh, Julia and a mystery partner against a Seri and a mystery partner. So at least Julia there uh, getting some feature for the moment. And as we mentioned, six wrestlers from Actress Girls coming over. Uh, they are Chika Goto, Koiki, uh, Natsumi Sumikawa, Miku Aono, Misa Matsui and Chiaki. Um, this is uh, Natsumi was their champion. Uh, and I think this is most of their sort of quote unquote upper card wrestlers. For the most part, yeah. So uh, pretty big there. I know the Actress Girls roster is pretty big. So uh, hopefully they'll be able to sort of replenish, but that sort of. I think that probably at the end of the day was sort of the most shocking thing about this whole revelation, I guess. Yeah, no, for sure. It it wasn't expected at all. I figured we'd get like the initial roster announcement with the stardom people and maybe a handful of other people. I was not expecting like, hey, look at all these people that came over from this company. <laughs> uh, also announced three... Um, non-Japanese wrestlers, three foreign wrestlers um, coming over. Zeta Steel, who I believe has worked some in MLW. Um, Myla Grace. And uh, last but certainly not least, uh, Bozilla. 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 And uh, I believe Mike Spears said it uh, this week who contributes over at Voices of Wrestling, said, if you didn't know anything about this promotion, if you didn't know who was booking it, and you were shown a picture of Bozilla, you, I'm pretty sure you could get it in one. Yeah. Who's booking the promotion. Yeah. Really, uh, yeah, just, just looking at the, the gaijin they're bringing in, you can look at that and be like, oh yeah, these are all Rossi picks. Like, Bozilla is a Rossi. If you were watching 2016 stardom. Yes. Uh, 2015, 2016 stardom. Bozilla is that energy. Uh, a very tall, very jacked looking woman. Uh, so uh, it will be very interesting. Yeah. Um, if this is like 2016 stardom, I'll be pretty psyched about that. Cause I really enjoyed that era of stardom. You know, we'll have to see, well, I don't know. You know, there have been many things. I think we maybe mentioned this last week, many things that have happened in the past in Joshi that you're like, wow, this is sounds really exciting. 
And then in six months, it doesn't even exist anymore. Yeah. <laughs> now, I know Rossi has a ton of money. Uh, there are no sponsors of this promotion. Uh, it's unclear at the moment what the WWE involvement is going to be. Um, you know, it sort of came out at the beginning. I think people were asking and Rossi was like, they're not involved. And then someone else asked him and he's like, I wouldn't be upset if they were involved. <laughs> uh so, you know, obviously Julia seems destined to go there sooner rather than later. I'm um, not sure if that will involve sending um, some, you know, former, um, I don't know, collegiate rower to Japan or something. But uh, we'll have to see. You know, I'm. Uh, it's it's a promotion. I should say also that. Uh, that May 20th show is going to stream live on Wrestle Universe with English commentary. So, you know, going to be very easily accessible. Seems to be a big, you know, promotion that has its sights aimed high. And it's, as I said before, it's not my money. So I'll be interested to watch. Yeah. Did you see uh, Mirai's new horrible hair? Uh, I did. I haven't really liked the hair since she got to stardom. So it how didn't did it get worse? It didn't really register to me. <laughs> um, but now it's like weirdly long. Yeah, and bad. Yeah, it somehow got worse. I think someone else said that in the in the uh, voices of wrestling Discord, and I it hadn't even registered with me. I was just <laughs> sort of like, "Yep, uh, that's me or I." Yep. You know, young people, they're, you know, they're all about their hair. The kids and their hairs. So, Kelly, I said that I had something extra uh, to you before the show. I didn't reveal it, but uh, the reveal of the name Marigold, I have to say, sort of separated from anything having to do with the promotion. Not a name that I like. Bad name. Bad I mean, but it's no different than any of Stardom's uh, factions, so it fits with St Rossi's naming conventions. Well, I mean, Marigold is worse than, like, Queen's Quest. It is, but I also wonder if he, like, is April Showers Bring May Flowers? Is that, I wonder if they have a version of that in Japanese, and he's like, ah, yes, May, Flower, Marigold. I have an um... excuse to wear my yellow suit. Yeah, the yellow suit really was uh, the highlight. I wonder if he'll wear that for every big uh, press he conference. He should. He really should. He, he didn't wear it to Noah where he got misted. That is true. We should also mention um, that the uh, group of Marigold, I guess this is very weird to call them that now, a uh, group of Marigold wrestlers did show up in Noah and set up a uh, four on four tag match for the show on i believe it's may 4th the the wrestle magic that sounds Noah show. Right. yeah uh it's sort of the group that's been hanging out in noah which is uh great sakuya uh miyuki takase nagisa nosaki takumi aroha um rossi came in the ring and he was like ah oh, some women that my 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 women can practice on <laughs> <laughs> you know that's my sort of uh ooh i'm rossi ogawa ooh. Ooh, it's ooh, like he's so, here with us <laughs> some women i can my women can practice on hmm hey rossi uh, it's your it's your good friend paul <laughs> yeah rossi and paul would you like uh, to trade some women <laughs> i don't know uh and so I got five with healthy a ACLs. Wow, that's more than I thought you would have, considering <laughs> uh, what's going on. Uh, and set up a uh, match, essentially like, oh, this will be good practice for the Marigold wrestlers, and then got misted. Um, so I believe it's uh, the four I just mentioned against Utami, Mirai, Mai Sakurai, and julia that sounds right 
if I have that right. I don't have the graphic in front of me. Um, but that will sort of be until they, because then once May 20th hits, they've got a pretty regular schedule of shows. Yeah, they announced a lot of shows. They're they're hitting the ground running. So we will see. But the but the game I have brought to Kelly, uh, which I didn't tell him about before, is uh, as I said, don't like the name Marigold. Uh, totally unconnected to what I think of the promotion. But Kelly, I think we should rank all the Joshi names. Okay. All right. Company names. So I have a list here of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen Joshi current Joshi companies um, on our little document that we have. So let's go through and let's rank starting at the bottom our least favorite to favorite. Joshi company names. Okay. You want to go first or should I? Um, so like uh, you want me to go what's better Marigold or actress girls is what you're looking for. No, no, no. I'm looking for like number th- out of this list. That's here. Oh, what's, what's the worst? One? What's number 13? Okay. Just we're ranking. We're doing um, It might actually be Marigold. <laughs> okay. Do you have any objections to that being the worst? Well, I do. We'll do our own lists. We can do so. Oh, okay. Lists. I thought yeah, we were yeah. just going to do one. No, right. no. We don't have to have right. be high mind about this. All right. Marigold's my 13. Okay. I think my 13 is going to be Diana. <laughs> okay. It's not terrible, but... I don't know. It's just sort of like Diana. Oh, what are you watching? I'm watching Diana. Oh, what do you watch? Like, um, like if there were a American company called Greg or something. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm going to sit down and watch some Greg. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, cool. I don't know. It's not bad. Um, and I'm also trying to not have the newness of Marigold bias me. Yeah, because I'm like, if I would have been around when, you know, when like Diana was announced and they're like, we have a brand new company. We're so excited. What are you calling it? We're calling it Diana. I would have been like, what? Why? They really <laughs> like dead strange. princesses. Um. So anyway, that's my 13. So what's your 12? Uh, my 12. Uh, my 12 is probably Diana Um. or. Yeah, yeah, I'm going Diana. I think I like Diana more than Marigold because Diana is all in caps. Uh, sure. I mean, I also guess that the full name of the company, I believe, is World. What is it? It's three W's. World Wide Wrestling Diana. What is it? I always forget. Uh, the full name of the company technically is World Woman Pro Wrestling Diana. To be. Yeah. To be fair. Let's like start them as World Wonder Ring Stardom. Right. Uh, okay. Well, my number 12. Hmm, I've got some con- I've got some contenders down here. I think I may go Marigold. I don't know why. It's not terrible, but I'm just sort of like, ugh. I don't think wrestling at all. That is true. That is that is true. I mean, that could be the case about uh, like 11 of the 13 names yeah. on this list. But uh, at least like stylize it. I Yeah, it should have made it like Seedling and gone Marigold and had it be like five O's. Yeah, do something wild with it. Marigold. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> that's the that's what the if Rossi was eating a carrot when he was naming it. <laughs> All right, what's your number 11? My 11 is 
um, wave. Wow. Okay. All right. We're about to majorly diverge. Why wave? Okay. Yeah. Why wave? I don't. It's just, it's just a word. Like I, it, it is all in caps. It is stylized. But like, does it stand for anything? No, it's just pro wrestling wave. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Knock you over. (laughs) Excitement. Pro wrestling wave. (laughs) Nah, I don't know. Name doesn't do much for me. All right, my number eleven. I think I. I I think this is a little bit of a funky one, but I think I'm going to go with Gato Move. Um which I guess would also be Choco Pro. Yeah, I was going to say, um, excuse me, sir, this is, Gato Move is not on the list I'm looking at. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing. <laughs> Choco Pro, I've never, I mean, I understand why, and then they give a little chocolate away at the end, but I've always sort of been like, what? why? Eat your guy a chocolate square? I mean, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the reason, but I don't know. I don't know how excited I am by, again, People's names and locations. Yeah. Not, not that exciting. It's the same thing as Sendai Girls. Yeah, well, hold your horses a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your number 10? Uh, number 10 is... Uh... Hmm. Maybe Oz? Oh my God. Oh my god, Kelly, you and I are going to majorly disagree. <laughs> okay. Oz Academy. Now, it is technically Oz Academy. Does yeah. that change your mind? No, Oz Academy. They, Academy makes it add on there more because it just sounds like I'm going to school instead of going to see some wrestling. Okay. All right. Well, my number 10 is going to be Sendai Girls, which I don't think is a bad name. I just think it isn't very descriptive. I mean, it is Sendai, but it's yeah. just sort of like, what is this? Oh, some girls from Sendai. Yeah, some girls okay. from Sendai. You're going to well, go Sendai, see some girls. Sendai girls. Oh, okay. Yeah. It doesn't, you know, I don't go, ooh, I got to see that. <laughs> I got to really, you know, Cincinnati boys. Ooh, get me to see those Cincinnati <laughs> boys. <laughs> I don't know. Is Cincinnati the Sendai of the United States? I don't I'm trying know. to think of what Cincinnati boys would be. Would it just be like, I mean, that's pretty much just wrestling revolver, isn't it? Yeah, but what what sort of uh, ecological activity would they do in their spare time? Uh, pick up trash. Yeah, in the river. Yeah. Uh, all right. What's your number nine? Um. There's a bunch that I like that are just nonsense. So I, I think Seedling has to go next. Okay. Okay. Because while I do enjoy stylization, I said that previously, there's goes maybe a step too far. You know, there is something amiss when we had to have a Slack bot thing come pop out and tell people how to spell the name of the company correctly. Okay. okay. The lowercase d, the three n's. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. Like if it was, I would say do one or the other. You either do the lowercase d or the n's. You can't do both. All right. My number nine is going to be, I have to go with, for a similar reason to Sendai Girls, I have to go with Tokyo Joshi pro wrestling it's really? not it's not incredibly disc- i mean it sort it of is like it, sendai it gives girls you everything you need well sometimes they don't run in tokyo so it doesn't give me everything i need well they're from to- they're coming from tokyo to you <laughs> i guess so but it's, it's like the ringling step- brothers circus look i can't put sendai girls 10th and then say oh tokyo joshi pro wrestling is so much better i mean it is slightly more descriptive that it's called pro wrestling but I mean, not by much. Yeah. 
Kelly's furious with me. I know. I'm so mad. This is the thing that breaks the podcast apart. Us <laughs> randomly ranking the names of the promotions. Uh, what are we on? Number eight? Probably. I have to like, uh, this is hard. I have to like highlight the ones I've already said. I know. Um, I think Pure J. Yeah, I think I am going to go with. I think I am going to go with Pure J. I sort of like Pure J. I'm like, I like okay. the name. Okay. It's... Pure J. Yeah. Um, Pure J sounds like a rapper. It does. Yeah. Or, or someone who would have worked uh, IWA Mid South in yeah. about 2001. Oh, uh, I just, all right. I just pictured in my head like some Sunday school activity where you have to write a rap as Jesus and your rap name is pure J. There you go. (laughs) (laughs) Um, what are we on now? Seven. That's probably, um, I've lost count. I, yeah, I don't know. Seven. I'll go. I'll go Choco pro. Okay. It, It tells you what you need to know, but like, also, God or Move is a fucking nonsense name. Maybe that means something to someone that speaks a language that Gato is a word in. Is it a thing that's like, we have to move like Gato Move? I have no idea. I assumed Gato was a word I don't know. I think of cat, because that's uh, cat in Spanish. Yes. Cat move. Um... <laughs> All right, my number seven is going to be Stardom, um, which I like, but I don't know. I, I think the fact that it is not like Stardom is not a thing you can use to describe someone yeah. sort of throws me off. It's like you're not describing the people. It's sort of like Stardom. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, you know it's, it's I mean? an odd name. <laughs> uh, anyway, what's yours? Mm, where am I at now? I will say... <sighs> I might... Oh, no, not yet. I might actually go start him as well. All right. Okay. Number six, I am going to go... Some very close word wise, I sort of consider these, uh, and I'm gonna say marvelous. Now, marvelous is a yeah, marvelous it, is a descriptor, it, it is a descriptor of the people, I guess you could say, but also I think the word marvelous is a better word, just sort of phonetically, grammatic, you know, gr- not grammar, but sort of the letters in it is a better word than stardom. Mm -hmm. You know, it's got that V it's got, you know, more letters (laughs) in it. (laughs) It does have more letters. It's It's very stupid. Uh, (laughs) Anyway, that's my number six is marvelous. Uh, I think next I am probably going to go. I think with Ice Ribbon. I like the name a lot. It's complete nonsense, though. <laughs> um, My number five. Okay, I have to see what I'm down to. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. I think I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm going to go with Ice Ribbon. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with ice ribbon i do like i i think i like the ice part more than the ribbon i think it just rolls off the tongue well because like, i'm I, like ice i yeah ice ribbon <laughs> uh, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> i didn't mean to do that when i was saying it but <laughs> ice, 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 ice ribbon, ribbon. <laughs> all right stop hamako hoshi and <laughs> uh, um yeah, but 
Yeah, I think you're right. It does like ice ribbon. Ice ribbon. I think it's I think it's fun. So I'll go with that. Uh, your number five, four, five. I think yeah, I think I'm at four. Okay. I'm count. Then I'm we, count. Wait. There's four. I think I haven't picked Two. unless there's one that I thought I picked and forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, you went first. So yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. You're so fine. I think then next I will go. Sendai Girls tells you what you need to know for the most part, but you know, they maybe they don't want to be called girls. Maybe they want to be Sendai women. Who knows? Kelly just wants the basics. <laughs> I'm I do. I want to know what's do. happening. What yeah. What is this? Uh, Sendai Girls. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> My next pick will be Actress Girls. And I only say that because I'm not even sure. Um, let me look this up on Cage Match. How are how is it phonetically? Okay, it is still actress girl apostrophe big Z. Yep. Is still the way it is. Which I think is really fun. It's actors, girls. I do think it is slightly confusing. Like if you were to text someone and say, "Oh, I'm watching this," they would have n- they would think that you had an issue at the end <laughs> of your right. Like, why is there an apostrophe? Why is there a Z? Actors, girls. Um, <laughs> but I think it's fun. I think it's a little cheeky to be like. Um, I sort of appreciate the play on act because they're all about you know it's not wrestling it's acting uh to call it actress i think is fun yeah hey you got the uh, actress as uh, like a person or actress like yeah that's what i just said act wrestling i love it yeah uh okay (laughs) what's your next one uh i think i'm gonna also go actress girls Nice. I love a good Z in a company. Or I just uh, love a good Z in a word. Yeah, the Z a Z is good. Makes it more uh, extreme. Don't see enough Zs anymore. No. Uh, my number three. We're in the top three now. Bronze medal wrestling promotion name. For me, Pro Wrestling Wave. You think about it, you're like, I'm get, about to get a wave of pro wrestling? That's amazing. <laughs> Let and I like that it's wrestling watch over me. I do like, and I, again, I believe this is true. These are like things I don't really think about as we're doing the show, but it's like, how exactly is the name? I believe it's yes. Pro wrestling. And then wave is in all caps mm-hmm. that I like where it's like pro wrestling wave, <laughs> like a wave, like you're sort of standing on the beach and then all of a sudden, wham. I should have tried to convince you that it's actually pronounced (laughs) Wave. You know, bam, here's a match with Sakura Hirota. Oh, no, thank you. (laughs) Well, that sometimes, (laughs) sometimes waves, they turn into typhoons. Yep. Uh, So, all right, Kelly, you're number two, I believe. My number two, the gold, the silver, silver medal going to Marvelous. All right. I like to know the quality of the thing I'm about to watch. Just uh, someone's like, hey, what are you watching? I'm like, oh, something marvelous. Take a seat. Uh, my number two is going to be Oz Academy. Uh, I just think it's a weird thing. Oz Academy? It is Why? very weird. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Oz Academy. It's very, it feels very um, Japanese Mm -hmm. to say Oz Academy. Okay, Uh, sure. I just find it very, it's very compelling if you're like, oh, Oz Academy. I once did a quiz for my friends who don't watch wrestling. And one of the questions was, I think I had four um, options. And I said, one of these things is not a wrestling promotion. Can you name the fake wrestling promotion that I've made up? <laughs> and I may and I included Oz Academy, and I believe like 
five of the six people who were participating all thought Oz Academy was fake. <laughs> was were any of them fake or were they all real and it was a trick? No, one? one of them was fake. And oh god. I mean, this was years ago at this point. Let's see. Uh trivia. 20 no. Cuz Oz to me is one of those where it would just be weird enough where I'd be like, yeah, probably. Trivia, is this it? Um, let's see. Uh, oh, here it is. All right, give, give me the quiz. We'll go. We'll go through it. Okay, here we go. Professional rest. Okay, because essentially, this is people are going to think I'm deranged with what I'm about to say. <laughs> Every year for my birthday, but also some other uh, of my friends' birthday, on their birthdays, I will make trivia related to that like the day they were born okay um, things about them so some of the things i've done is like oh trips i've taken i'll do a round about like oh i took a trip here and one year i did this i had gone to japan that year i think it was 2019 okay and so i did a category about japan and i was like oh great i can include a wrestling question because that's easy to um think of so here's the question. So that's why it also starts with this very weird um, disclaimer, I guess. <laughs> Professional wrestling is very popular in Japan. Which of the following is not the, a name of a currently active Japanese pro wrestling promotion? Secret Base, Oz Academy, Kill La Kill, or Tradition? I'm going to go with the one that's an anime. <laughs> But many people don't know that. That's true. Uh, yeah. A lot of people guessed Oz Academy. And they were wrong. I would go secret base before Oz. Why? Because that secret base just sounds like a place. But Oz Academy does also sound like a place. Shit. Yeah, I sort of tried to think of the most stupid, not stupid, but the most sort of bizarre, like tradition. Yeah. I'm sort of like, hmm. What? Tradition just sounds like a typo. Yeah. <laughs> like you've just done something wrong. Um, anyway, um, Oz Academy. What's your yeah. number one, Kelly? Uh, gold the- medal goes to Tokyo yeah. Joshi Pro Wrestling. There you go. Tells me he everything likes- I need to know. He likes to know. And my number one, I mean, really, no other option. Seedling. It's so great. It's such a fucked up, it's like a word, but they've spelled it wrong, and it's got a little D, and it's got a a lot of big other letters, and there's lots of N's. (laughs) God, I almost sounded like Donald Trump there. That was very strange. (laughs) We love the seedling, don't we, folks? Oh, God, it's got a little D, and it's It's got got a lot of N's. It's got a ton of N's. It's a lot of N's, folks. Um, We love many N's. All right, we've gone the wrong way here, so <laughs> let's move on from that. I hope we someone... got one end, we got two ends, we got three ends. I hope someone enjoyed <laughs> that segment that we did. Um, all right, well, many what... people are saying they love a little D. My God, bring back Paul, frankly. Uh, uh... Oh, hey, my, my good pal Donnie was here, huh? God, man, get rid of both of them. I remember um, when he let me in the Oval Office and I got to press his Coke button. Uh, so what's been happening in the last two weeks of Joshi? Uh, Stardom had some shows in Japan. Uh, they had a Corican Hall show on April the 12th. Uh, that was Julia and uh, Utami and many other people's last day. Uh, Julia saying, I'm not going out on my back. Uh, <laughs> going to a time limit draw Tagging with Siri against Hanan and uh, Mayu. Uh, Utami, very different. Uh, losing, tagging with Saya Kamatani in uh, a tag match to losing to Micah and Saya Ida. Afterwards, Utami and Saya did a five-minute match, which went to a five-minute time limit draw. Uh, but there was a lot of more action in for stardom in America. Kelly, I believe you went to this Show? I did. I went to, to uh, 
New Japan's Windy City Riot, where there was two matches with stardom talent. Uh, first was on the pre-show. Alex Winder, Windsor and Trisha Dora defeat Mina Shirakawa and Viva Van. Uh, that was fun match. Uh, Mina didn't do a ton, but uh, you know, it was a pre-show match. What are you going to do? And then on the main card, there was a New Japan strong women's title defense. Uh, Stephanie Vakur defended successfully against Azumi in a very, very good match. I went four stars on that one. It was awesome. It was basically just a high speed title match from Azumi. Uh, they went nuts, kind of, and beat the hell out of each other. And it felt like it was like that. Once the 10 minute call happened, I was shocked. I could not believe it that it had been going that long. So that, that was definitely a match to go back and see if you haven't. Uh, Azumi also appearing on AEW television. Yes, that's uh, right. In a very good match with, uh, surprisingly, Timeless Tony Storm. Yeah. All people. Um, all right. What else has been happening? Tokyo Joshi had a show on April 13th. That was Jury Nagano's last show. Uh, she opened the show in a match and then lost to Mocha Miyamoto in the main event. Uh, the end of the Karate Kids. Uh, Sendai Girls had a show on April 14th at Korokin Hall. Dash Shizako beat Unagi Saika in a hardcore match. And Mika Iwata successfully defended her Sendai Girls title against Veni. Uh, Ice Ribbon, the biggest news of the last two weeks. Ibuki Hoshi announcing that she will be out indefinitely uh, due to pregnancy. This company uh, can't catch a break. Well, they sort of announced that they were like, she's going to be out, and tomorrow she'll tell you why. And I was <laughs> like, oh, my God, did she, like, break both her legs or something? So I guess it's uh, being pregnant is probably on the better side of the options I was thinking of. Yeah. Um, but obviously done wrestling for the foreseeable future, so has vacated the Ice Infinity title, and there will be a tournament. Uh, to determine a new champion, which we'll talk about uh, in a few minutes. Uh, Diana, probably the biggest news, they announced, I believe, Diana Live, their streaming service, uh, where shows are uploaded on a one-month delay, I believe. Um, Wave had two shows. Uh, Cherry defeated Leon and Kaori Yonayama to become the new uh, Queen Elizabeth title holder. And Yuki Miyazaki defeated Kohaku to retain the Regina de Wave title. Uh, then on the 14th, uh, Sakura Hirota now going by Shin Sakura Hirota due to the fact that she is getting divorced. Uh, <laughs> and I believe that is a shoot, that she is actually getting divorced. Uh, so now going by Shin Sakura Hirota defeated Cherry and Yuki Miyazaki to win the Queen Elizabeth title. Uh, so the power of uh, divorce, I guess. There did did her husband take the her wrestling name and in the divorce? Um, I don't know exactly what the explanation was, but I believe she was wrestling. I believe the the English translation was maiden name Sakura Hirota. So okay. now that she's divorced, it doesn't really make sense to call her that anymore. <laughs> Uh, so I believe that's the explanation why, um, I'm not super up on my divorce renaming wrestler lore, uh, but I believe that's why, uh, what was the other big thing that happened in the last two weeks? Well, WrestleMania weekend, uh, Kelly and I watched a lot. I believe I counted at the end of the weekend and I watched 25, uh, wrestling shows. Jesus Christ. Uh, so I was very tired at the end. And some of these you might say, oh, I hope he's got a lot of thoughts on these matches. And some of them, boy, howdy, don't I. Yep. Uh, anyway, on Thursday was Stardom's show, Stardom American Dream 2024 in the Keystone State. We're not going to go through every one of these matches on the bigger shows. Um, I will say uh, the high speed match on the show was bad bad uh, a match i didn't enjoy and thought oh this is a bad start very bad um but i did very much enjoy the six-person tag 
the uh, Stephanie Vakura, Momo Watanabe, and Starlight Kid defeating Azumi, Sayakamitani, and Cameron Brene. I think I went three and three quarters on that match. I thought it was really fun. Was sort of wished I could have seen more of Cameron just because it felt like they sort of hid her in the match a little bit, Mm -hmm. Um, which was fine. She seemed fine, but just was interested to see sort of what the skill level was and feel like I didn't really get that. Uh, but really enjoyed that. And then enjoyed the main event, the World of Stardom title match. Uh, Micah defeating Megan Bain. I went four stars on that. That's uh, Kelly, I, uh, Kelly, I know the favorite part of the show for you was when Timeless Tony Storm came out. I was so upset to see Steamboat Tony. And like I was, I was riding the Club Venus high. Mina had her women back. Everything is how it was supposed to be. And then here comes Steamboat Tony. What yeah. a terrible moment. Uh, but overall, I thought, especially once you got past the first match, a, a very good, fun show. Yeah. Yeah. Really, the only the opener was like bad. Everything else was at minimum good. I think overall for sort of the whim, the female focused shows, I thought it was the best show of the weekend. Mm -hmm. yeah i think so okay you sounded you were like "Mm." i had to think about it for a second i I also i also had a mouthful of tea (laughs) so there you go uh also jersey championship wrestling the gcw and uh the jcw and gcw versus the world uh, had Fuminor Abe, Takuya Nomura, and Rina Yamashita defeating Alec Price, Cole Radrick, and One Called Manders. Uh, we're now, uh, what, two weeks out? And I couldn't tell you a fucking thing about this match. <laughs> no, not a bit. Uh, uh, I remember I thought it was fun in the moment. Uh, but a match I do remember for the JCW World Championship, Masha Slamovich and Suri going to a 30-minute time limit draw. Um, a match that I really thought was like a three-star um, match. It probably would have played better not at 1.30 in the morning um, and probably would have played better had I not known about 12 minutes in that it was going to a 30 minute time limit draw or 20 minute time limit draw. <laughs> However, I don't even remember, but I just thought it was fine. Like some people hated it a lot more. Some people were like, Oh, it's the match of the weekend. I saw some like four and a half stars being thrown out. Um, but I don't know, just watching it at one o'clock. I was sort of like, this is not, this is not it. Yeah. I did not watch it live. Uh, I went four on it. I really enjoyed it. So I, and I was like, it was like midday when I watched it. So I, I was not tired or sleepy or anything. So I, I don't know. I thought it had good action. I like the submission stuff throughout. And I thought the last couple of minutes were really well done. So I, I went for I enjoyed it quite a bit. Well, there you go. I also sort of wish. I mean, we've been over this, but, you know, the Dragon Gate folks were on this weekend and they lost all over the place. Oh, yeah. I'm like, can't Siri take one pin? Please, no. here. Come on. Please. No. Never. Anyway, on Friday uh, was the first Tokyo Joshi show, Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling Live in Philly. Uh, a show that I thought was fine. I thought really the opener and the first like two matches were good, and then the rest of the card was fine. Um, I think my overall, I'll sort of give my overall thoughts on Tokyo Joshi the weekend as a whole, I thought they sort of missed uh, an opportunity to really present something big. It felt like last year they had a much better WrestleMania weekend. Yeah, I would say last year's show blew away this year's. They and because even the last time they were here, they got they had the uh, WrestleCon match that people really enjoyed. And I don't know. This show was this show was fine. I liked the main event, but like even in my notes here, I said there was a good match that was so close to being great. Uh, and then we'll get to it later. But the versus GCW show was just terrible. 
Uh, Game Changer Wrestling presented Joey Janela Spring Break 8, a show actually I did not watch. Whoa. So I have nothing to say. I watched it. Uh, Rina Yamashita and Ma- Masha took on the old grandpas. It was good. It was a fun match. I went three and a half on it. And then Maki Death Kill beating Danhausen and Ram Kaicho was a was a vibes match for sure. It wasn't really a good match, but you know, sometimes you gotta just uh, respect Maki Ito for running the razor for this business. Uh, there was also Ring of Honor Super Card of Honor. This is a show that I only saw part of. So the only women's match I saw on the show was Mariah May defeating Momo Kogo. Uh, a match that I really thought was pretty good. Yeah. Um, and I really enjoyed, but I did not see the stardom six woman tag. And the I stardom trios really... match ruled. I went four and a quarter on that one. There you go. Uh, and I did not see the ring of honor women's world championship match either. I liked that one. I, I won't go like it was amazing or match of the weekend, but I enjoyed it. Saturday, the 6th of April, Game Changer Wrestling, Effie's Big Gay Brunch 9, uh, Rina Yamashita successfully defending her GCW Ultraviolent Championship against Billy Dixon. Uh, this went one, it, I guess I don't know what it is when you're watching something in one eye and out the other. Yeah. Um, I, I think at that moment in time, I was watching three concurrent shows um all at once so i sort of was watching this out of the corner of my eye but it never really caught my attention i'll say that i watched this match in between other matches when wrestlemania was on the tv and i in my notes i say this is the least inspired match i've ever seen from arena i it was the most basic hardcore match you can imagine uh, the anthology Thrashylvania had Kaya McKenna and Ram Kaichow defeating Viva Van and Ava Everett. Kelly, did you watch that? I did. Not great. Okay. I didn't watch it. <laughs> right. Uh, Game Changer Wrestling versus Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling had many changes to the card, um, even up to the day of the show. I actually thought it started pretty well. I thought Suzume defeating Palm Harajuku and Saki was a fun match. Yeah, I like that one a lot. I would say after that that the show was a major skip. Yep. Um, the the enough, main event was good. Yeah, I think I was just sort of burned out by that point with a bunch of matches that I was like, Ugh. so I'm trying. What, I, what was the worst match? Oh yeah, Dark Sheik versus uh, Camille was the worst match I think on the show. Um, Game Changer Wrestling presented Joey Janela Spring Break Clusterfuck Forever, a match I did watch and a match I did watch live. Uh, Rina Yamashita and Aja Kong were in it. Haha! Uh, Told you. Yeah, you were right. Told a you. Match, a, a match so long it had a bad it had a bad rumble a fine rumble and an amazing rumble all in one (laughs) um it was two hours long and i think about the first 30 minutes was fine the middle hour was terrible and then the last 30 minutes were great (laughs) it was like very weird also 88 men uh i was literally counting as they were coming out, and there were only 79. Can't believe they would lie to us like that. I was I was furious. Yeah. Because I was writing down 79 Nick Gage, and they went, and the 88th man. <laughs> and I was I was so furious. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh it, it it was fun. I would tell anyone at this moment in time, do not watch it. Yeah, don't do that. There's absolutely no way you can enjoy it outside of 3 a.m. Yeah. Um, thinking, God, will this match ever? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then on Sunday, there was Spark Joshi's Trailblaze 2024. Uh, how do we describe this show? What a mixed bag. Started off strong, ended very horrible. Strong. <laughs> horrible. Um, I will say if 
not that I ever will. Um, this, this is very unlikely. If I am ever running a promotion, you will never see me. I will be like a ghost. <laughs> People will be saying, who runs this promotion? No one knows. A mysterious benefactor. I will never appear on screen. I will never appear in a video. I will never appear in the ring. You'll never see me. What about uh, you're not going to come out and sing a song? I'm not going to come out and do that. I'm not going to come out and explain why something weird is happening in the main event where Sumi Sakai is throwing a belt at Billy Starks who drops the belt and then has to pick it up so that the ref can see her with the belt and disqualify her. Um, so then Starlight Kid can come out and win the, the world title in five minutes. Uh, just, yeah. Um, the high the, point of this show for sure to me was the, uh, the tag with the, uh, not trainees, but the tryout winners, uh, with Mayu teaming with Jada Stone to beat Konami and Maya World. I really liked this match. I went four stars on it and I was super impressed by both of the tryout winners. Yeah, that seemed to be the unanimous sort of high point of the uh, the show. And obviously, the sort of Aja Kong Tom stuff has led to other things, uh, which are sort of interesting. But that sort of feels outside of this show. Mm -hmm. Feels sort of, uh, I don't know. Maybe they can credit the show. Yeah, I have two uh, one-star matches on this show. <laughs> Uh, but overall, I would I would call it a mixed bag, yeah, uh, for women's wrestling on uh, WrestleMania weekend. Mm -hmm. Well, before we get to what is coming up, and there's quite a lot coming up, of course, we have to do everyone's favorite segment, the Joshi Fantasy League standings. And Kelly, I hate to tell you this, no, uh, but WrestleMania weekend, you were really banking, uh, putting a lot behind your pinning your hopes on the weekend and it didn't quite deliver. God damn it. Um, in the way you want, you are still uh, quite far in last place at 133 points. I think your biggest problem is Rina Yamashita is in a lot of multi-person matches. Yeah, that doesn't help anything. She has won this But she's year. still my like far and away. Oh, yes. She's by far your highest point getter, but she has won 11 multi-man matches this year. Uh, if those were if those were singles matches, you would have 22 extra points. Yeah. Um, but yes, down at 133, your high point getter by far, Rina Yamashita at 43. Uh, Utami at 27. Takumi Aroha at 25. Veni at 20. And Miyu Yamashita down at 18. Still in second, keeping pace. Uh, the gap is exactly the same. I'll say this is Liam at 170 points being uh, really propped up by Unagi, who has the league record 61 points currently. Uh, but Suzu Suzuki also 45 points. Chihiro Hashimoto 35 points. Seri 15 points. And Aoi. 14 points. So, um, has some high scores, has some low scores, and still in first place is me by two points, 172 points, being led by you up at 55, Miyuki Takase at 43, uh, Ibuki Hoshi will uh, probably end the year at 29 points. Um, and is the clubhouse leader for the person I'm going to need to trade <laughs> in the midseason. Uh, sadly, Miyu Watanabe at 23 and Saya Kamatani at 22. The the stardom in the Tokyo Joshi wrestlers have not come through for anyone, really. No, that and that's why, like I said, I'm going to have to moneyball this. I, I'm going to find the grimiest fucking person I can put into my list. <laughs> Uh, so that it might is... be Sakura Hirota. <laughs> she loses a well. <laughs> she loses a lot, but then she wrestles again. 
But yeah. then oftentimes she loses again. So, uh, and with me being in last place, I'll get first pick. Yeah, you certainly uh, you will get the first pick, and you can pick uh, anyone uh, you want. So, um, when are we when are we doing the picks? When are we doing the repicks? Is that going to be June? Yeah, it'll probably be June sometime. I haven't determined the the actual date, but yeah, it gives me uh, time to uh, do some research. So what is coming up in the next two weeks? Quite a lot of wrestling is coming up. The biggest is on April 27th, Runaway Wrestler, the Mayu Iwatani movie, presents All-Star Grand Queendom 2024 in stardom. Uh, The card looks so far like this. Siri, the returning Konami, returning officially to stardom. Uh, and Ami Sore will take on a team to be announced. Rina will defend her future of stardom title against Sayaka Karara. Uh, Tom, uh, <laughs> Tom Nakano and Natsupoi, Kelly's favorite tag team, love them. Uh, will take on Aja Kong and Keru Ito. They sing the songs, they dress like fairies. Uh, I think a lot of people thought that was going to be a Tom Aja singles match um, for some time. So interesting to see it as a tag. And then three big title matches, Mayu Iwatani versus Seri, Seori Ano versus Hanan for the Wonder of Stardom title, and Micah versus Momo Watanabe for the World of Stardom title. Kelly, what's your most anticipated match on the show? Uh, Mayu versus Seri. Like and honestly, that should be the main event. It's Mayu's movie. <laughs> Let her main the show. Um, you know, I I gave her grief last week, and I still believe that I was true. But I am looking forward to Sayori versus Hanan. Oh, that should be great. Uh, because I think it will be interesting to see. Um, but a big show. There will be more matches announced. Um, coming up soon, but we will definitely be covering that on the next episode. Uh, also, Seedling has a Corican Hall show headlined. Makoto and Nagasa Nosaki will defend the tag titles against Kriya and Akari, and then uh, a six person tag Hiroya Matsumoto, Hanako Nakamori, and Miyuki Takase will take on Arisa Nakajima. Seri and Tsukasa Fujimoto, the returning Tsukasa Fujimoto officially announced his returning, will be doing, uh, will be returning to Ice Ribbon on a limited schedule, I believe was the official wording uh, that they're going with, but returning here to team with Arisa and Seri, which nice. is very exciting for me as someone who really likes uh, Tsukasa Fujimoto. Yeah, that's cool. Also, huge show for Oz Academy on April 28th. Uh, there will be a tag title number one contender match, Sona Kokado and Ryo Mizunami, Keira Yonayama and Momoko Hanazono, and Maria and Riko, Riko Kawahata, Magenta, uh, will all face off to become the number one contender for the tag titles in Oz. But the main event, the match of the evening, will be a double title match. The AAAW and Oz Academy titles will be on the line. A rematch of my Joshi match of the year from last year. Mio Momono will take on Mayumi Ozaki. I'm so hype. So that will be a big one. Well, Kelly, speaking of getting hype... <laughs> You should stay hype because Tokyo Joshi on April 19th will present Hype 2. Whoa! The Hyper Masao produced show uh, went viral last year for the saga of Mihiro Kiryu. So who will know what will happen at this show uh, this year? We'll find out soon in just a few days on April 19th. Uh, found this when I was searching for upcoming shows, but Sendai Girls is hosting a karaoke tournament on April 27th. How do you go about how, like, I want to know how this works. Not sure. 
Are they? <laughs> is it just going to be a bracket of people? Are they singing the same songs, and we're going to judge who does it better? Or that's all the rules. information. I, that's all the information I have. Send that girls. Tell me more. That's that's all I got for you. You know I like to know what I'm watching. <laughs> And then finally, Ice Ribbon will, as I talked about before, be starting the Ice Infinity Champion League, uh, which will be starting on April 28th in Kawaguchi, Saitama, and will be spread across various shows. The finals will be on June 23rd in Bunkyo, Tokyo. So the matches will be, it's a league tournament. Matches will be held with a 10 minute time limit, excluding the bracket finals and the tournament finals. Uh, you score two points for a victory, zero for a loss. There are no points for a tie because if there is a tie, uh, there will be an extra match. I'm assuming they will add extra time to determine a winner. Uh, block A was announced as Hamakahoshi Kuri. Kahu Matsushita, who it was announced, is injured and won't be in the tournament. I don't know if the replacement has been announced. Uh, Arisa Shinose and Misa Kagura from Just Tap Out. Block B will be Asuka Fujitaki, Saran, Totoro Satsuki, Yapi, and Yori from Gabare. Uh, the first two matches in the tournament will be on April 28th. Hamakohoshi facing Curie. That's block A match. And Saran against Yuri, which is a block B match. So we'll have to see who will become uh, the new Ice Infinity champion. So is it like... I'm confused by the wording of this. So with the sure. bracket, is does that mean there's like... The top well, the, two people coming out of each block go into that? Yes, I believe it's the top two people in each block. Okay. Face off. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. So that is everything coming up. So next episode, we will definitely be talking Grand Queendom. Hopefully we can catch um, that Oz Academy. Hype 2, there's a lot, you know, a lot going on. Maybe we can see the karaoke tournament. Maybe. Maybe that'll air on uh, Wrestle Universe. We can do a deep dive uh, review of karaoke. Uh, if that airs on Wrestle Universe before the 414 show does, I'm going to be so upset. Well, I don't know that the 414 show is because it was a paper. I think they announced it's not going to be on Wrestle Universe. God damn I don't, it. I, like... I don't think they announced it wasn't going on, and I don't know if it will ever be added. Uh, that's the part. That's the part I don't know. I know I it wasn't going to air. Things aren't on the but... streaming services I have. I'm sorry, Kelly, but you should subscribe to Diana Live. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, but that is all for our show. So I will hand it over to Kelly for uh, the usual Kelly's Corner. What do I want to talk about in the Kelly's Corner? Um, I don't know. I don't really have much. I guess I'll I'll say uh, I'll go a little serious for a minute, and I'll say uh, rest in peace to Ed Piscor. Uh, if you're in the comics community, you might know that name. We recently lost him. Uh, he was a very important voice for in the comics community. I thought uh, one of the very few good wrestle or not wrestling comic youtube channels uh also a really like a prolific professional in his own right i enjoyed his work quite a bit and i'm pretty bummed to not have uh new recommendations from him and stuff and yeah a big loss to the community so rest in peace ed pisker And with that, we will wrap up this week's episode. We'll, but we will be back with you in less than two weeks' time with another episode of Jumping Bomb Audio. So until then, enjoy wrestling, and we will see you later. Bye, everybody. Don't uh, ever argue with WWE fans. It never ends well. Bye. 
Cheering at pro wrestling shows in Japan is back, and 2023 is already shaping up to be a big year in the history of pro res. That's why you should listen to the Emerald Flow Show. From the Royal Road to the Green Mat, Paul and Gerard take you into the world of All Japan Pro Wrestling and Pro Wrestling Noah. Not only do we analyze events, but we examine business, who is getting over, what angles are working, or not. Occasionally, we take a look at other Japanese promotions like DDT and Zero One. So if you're looking for more coverage of the world of Japanese wrestling, check out the Emerald Flow Show on the Voices of Wrestling Podcast Network, available on all of your favorite podcast apps.